Welcome back to another video. I'm Mandy from Mandy Hibbard from Kansas City. If you're new here, thanks for joining. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks so much for coming back. Uh, today, I just have some Christmas decorating going on with the family. Um, so far, we've put up the tree. <clears throat> and I wanted to look all glamorous like this, but the kids were really anxious to get the tree up. So I'm in my leopard robe. And the kids are helping me and they're climbing all over the ladder and they're having the best time. And Blake, my oldest, kept saying, I can't stop looking at the tree. It's so beautiful. And I just melted onto the ground. He can be so sweet sometimes and say the cutest things. And I just, that's exactly why I want to put the tree up early and see the magic in my little kid's eyes. Hadley's been sleeping, so... I can't wait to show her the tree when she wakes up and hopefully I'll get that recorded for you guys and insert that here and show you. But I just wanted to say thanks so much for coming by and I hope you enjoy this video. Something some of you may know about me and others don't is that I am a very thrifty shopper. So our first stop today will be Goodwill. Guys, I am literally shook. Look at what I just found at Goodwill. Do you see this? It is a real Louis Vuitton at Goodwill for $19.99. $20 for a Louis Vuitton. I am shook. I cannot believe this find. I came in for Christmas stuff, which I found. Two things. This wreath and then this tree. But the Louis? Unexpected, but greatly appreciated. Blake and I headed to Walmart to check out some of their decor there and also pick up some groceries for the week. And this is how Blake really feels about shopping. Really? Look at the tree. What do you think? What? What do you think? You like it? What do you think? Blake and I are home from shopping and I definitely thought Hallie would have more reaction to the tree than she did. But she hasn't been messing with it too much so I'm not sad about that. All right, here's what I picked up from Walmart. Somehow I only grabbed four things and then another mom was checking out next to me and she had a really cute Christmas tin and a really cute um, fur faux blanket instead of this Sherpa and I'm like, oh, I want that. So might be going back there, um, but I did get two of the garland, flocked garland. Um, I wanted these last year's and I didn't do it. And so I'm like, I'm doing it this year and I'm probably gonna go back for more, but I just kinda wanted to get them out and see if I like them, put them a few places and see if that suffices for me. Um, and then I got this pillow because I just thought it was adorable. It was five bucks. 
So if the kids mess it up, I won't care. Um, and then I got this super cozy red Sherpa blanket, which I thought the kids would love to cuddle on and just add a pop of red to the couch. As you can see, one of the children has already hijacked this blanket off of the couch. And now I feel like I need to because they're already fighting over it. I hope you find this video motivating and it helps you get your Christmas stuff out and get you in the Christmas spirit. And just remember, everything doesn't have to be perfect. And what it's really about is being with your family and making those happy memories. That one doesn't have a hook. You're just gonna have to set it in a tree. Okay, hang them up now. What's that? Put it on the tree. All right. Blake was so excited. He couldn't even nap that he had to get the ornaments on this tree. So he and I worked on this for a little bit, as you saw. And I told him we had to stop because we had to wait for his brother and sister to put some ornaments on the tree as well. And then I forgot that I had beaded garland that I wanted to string along. So I might try to add that back in or it might just be a lost cause. I haven't decided yet. Now I'm going to head out by myself to a thrift store and Hobby Lobby and hopefully get some more goodies. I snuck over to City Thrift and I found these deer. Uh, for some reason, whenever it comes to Christmas stuff, I just, I'm always drawn to deer. They're in perfect condition. This box looks like it's 100 years old. And then I got two different kinds of garland.
then I headed off over to Hobby Lobby. Love this store so much all year round. It was so busy. Every aisle had like three or more people in it. I tried to film when there weren't a lot of people around me um, just to show you some of the goods that they had. Everything was adorable. I wanted to bring it all home. Somehow I didn't. Uh, I just got a couple of things and this tree collar that I've been wanting, which ended up not working out. So now I have to take it back. Now, I just wanted to show you around my house, just the couple of touches I've done here and there. I'm definitely not done, but I wanted to show you what I have achieved so far. Captain Underpants. All right, I just wanna get on here and be real for a second. I had every intention of getting all my Christmas decorating and shopping done this weekend. And with three kids, it's no joke. And I've been watching all these YouTube decorate with me videos and I'm like, first of all, your house is spotless, but then you get it all messy again with the Christmas stuff and you pretty much have to clean it up again. And that's just not real life. I. I can't do that. I mean, maybe some people can, but more props to you. More what? Okay, one second. You don't need Anyways, um, so we just decorated yesterday and today. We hit up a couple of stores. I had to take back the Christmas tree collar because our vase is too wide and it was sticking out. So I need to take the Christmas tree collar back to Hobby Lobby, but today's Sunday, so it's closed. But it didn't fit and now i don't know if i'm gonna go get a different one or just give up on that dream i'm kind of feeling like maybe i'm gonna give up on that dream i don't know um i might pop into target tonight so if i do i'll take you along with me and look at some of their christmas stuff and then i just need to get like some random things there but i'm gonna go tag to this one also not in the video was Hadley getting a tub of vaseline and sticking her hand in it lucas falling off of the ladder um, the meltdowns in Walmart from Blake and just real life behind the scenes stuff that didn't quite make it into the video, which I'm sure you're sad that you missed, but it was just mass chaos around here with all this Christmas decorating. The boys are so excited. They love it. But now they're touching every ornament. They've broken so many ornaments. They're playing, they're putting their shields into the tree and they're everywhere, which I mean, I'm glad they're enjoying it and I'm happy that they're having some Christmas spirit, but I'm like, come on guys. This is why I don't need to buy new things and need new things because you guys are all still too little and want to have too much fun with this, which is fine. Ross did have a lot of decorations. I didn't buy any decorations, but they did have a sweet toy section and I did pick up some Christmas gifts for the kids.
Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you are new. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.